Hi everyone, this is Sion from 3 Sprockets. I wanted to just make a quick video, or it might not be so quick, of the new Mayhem mode, um, six player online cube men, which is pretty cool. And um, I'm just going to jump right into it now and have a bit of a chat while we're going. So, I'm going to play six player. AI difficulty is oh my god, do 20 waves, and I'm going to play on Hextech. What I'm going to do is start the game, um, and it's only going to make it myself against AI. So all these spots here are waiting for players to join, but if no one joins, I can just tell it to begin straight away. Alternatively, I can actually tell it to not include AI, and of course I can't play until someone else joins. So off we go. When I click begin, because it knows there's only me and AI, it actually turns off the network game and just makes it a local game. So here's a list of all the people, uh, myself and a whole lot of AI, and all the different colours. As you can see in the background, uh, the different bases, different coloured bases. Here we go. What I'm going to do is basically let the game run itself. I might spawn the occasional player, but I'm going to run the game in fast forward mode and uh, so you can actually watch why I called the game mode Mayhem and um, check out the uh, crazy new AI. Here we go. Fast forward mode. And I'm basically just going to let it play. And you'll get to uh, watch the craziness. So in Oh My God mode with AI, they're actually quite smart. What they'll do is they'll not only um, pick a spawn point when they spawn, but if they're in a position and there's no one to fight against, they'll actually move to a new position where there's a, an enemy to fight against, uh, which is pretty cool. In Mayhem mode right now, the only um, grunts, you know, the, the, uh, the non-unit type characters that are spawned are two per wave. I might increase that to three down the track. Um, the game is very much about the battle as opposed to the, um, the units coming to steal your bases, although you need to be careful for them. Um, but they kind of get lost in the level on purpose. Um, as you can see, there's some red guys up here walking along, um, going after different bases. The AI will choose each wave uh, a random base to attack. So it's always different. Uh, I just got my green guy. That's me. He just got um, some lives lost, as you saw. I'm down to eight. Now, just to let you know, my guys that are spawning, I can actually choose which base I want to attack. So I can click on the purple base, and now as you can see on the right hand side, that's Hexog, and I've got a little indicator on the purple icons to show that I'm actually attacking his base, and now you can see my enemies are actually going after his, my, sorry, my units are going after his base, let's see if one gets through, yes he did. So as you can see, it's pretty crazy gameplay, it's fast, it's um, chaotic, red seems to have the upper hand at the moment, but that can change at any time. I'm going to let it play through till it gets to the end. Um, got some new exciting exploding bases now when you lose all your lives. And um, also got a new uh, ladder at the end of the game. We just got a few bugs in it still I need to uh, work through. One of the main bugs is that it's not sorting the ladder by score at the moment. So I need to fix that. So I'm down to six lives left, which is not great, but I'm also not really supporting any players to do anything. Might just stick a couple in there now, just, just for fun. Just to mix it up a bit. But as you can see, the red units are already dissipated a bit. Uh, there seems to be a few pink ones out there right now. The, the, the tides of war and of battle shift constantly. Um, their AI is as smart as each other, so um, when one gets the upper hand, you know, two. Um, how do I put it? Uh, less active units might actually over control that particular one. So, as I said, this is actually running in fast mode, but I thought I would um, get the game all the way through so you can see it. If uh, no one wins by the end of wave 20, then uh, it'll obviously end the game and the ladder be calculated based on the final scores of that.
triple. Triple's got one life left. That'd be interesting. I should be able to take him out next round. Unless someone kills my guys on the way. About to find out. Go. Make it. There we go. Oops. There's another little bug. The fire is still there. So purple is now out. As you can see on the uh, interface, he's greyed out. And um, I might just go. So he's no longer active, he's not spawning any units anymore. And no one's gonna go attack him. Which makes the odds worse for the rest of the AI. Oh, It's pretty Yellow guys are definitely good at defending their base. Every time I sneak up on them, they uh, take me out. See now the new uh, boss enemy rain storm of bullets is a little bit different now. Much more deadly. Last wave. I think blue could be in trouble. Yep, blue 
died just at the end of the wave. And as we see our final ladder. And as you can see the scores are not sorted, as I mentioned. But it now shows you the uh, list of kills, units lost, how many lives left, and the final score. And that is Mayhem Mode in Fast Forward against 5AI. Thanks for watching.